welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here with another hour of entertainment for you. So I just want to say the call-in portion of the show, the company is aware that they've been having some technical difficulties, so we're going to do our best to get callers. Please don't hang up. Please don't go anyplace. Um, we are going to do our best to try to take callers tonight. We had the same issue on Monday, but we did get to take callers. We'll see what happens tonight. It'll be like uh, like a little experiment to see what uh, how the show goes. So here we go. Um, tonight, I will be taking callers, hopefully, on the call log and answering questions in the chat. If you are in the chat, if you are watching live, if you've called in, thank you so much. If you are watching the show on any of the many streaming television channels or the TV channels, on computer, on a podcast, listening to it on a one of the radio stations, thank you also. If you'd like to join us live, it's every Monday at noon central time and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central that we go live and you can call in and ask a question or um, ask a question or um, yeah connect with a loved one on the other side <laughs> really really Okay, so people have already been asking questions in the chat. I was answering a question for Catherine, and Catherine, um, is this a sales position that you've applied for? I know it's in pharmaceutical. Is it pharmaceutical sales? Please answer that, and then I'll give you the next um, part of that um, answer for you. Uh, Heather, definitely go for a waitress or a bartending job if you can. It'll be much better uh, financially than what you're going for now. But if you do get the job you're going for, definitely take it. But also look for bartending. Catherine, I do not, I feel like there's a chance you're going to get this job, but it won't be uh, the best. Um, it'll be okay. It's not that it will be bad. I feel like there will be something better right behind it. So keep applying, keep looking. If somebody else reaches out to you that you've already filled out, go for it. Because I feel like if you get this position and there's a good chance you're going to get this position, but again, the- Your show will go live in five seconds. The verdict Four, three, is still out. Two, one. Okay, so there's the whole- Love Talk Radio. There's the whole radio thing, folks. The show has been live for like three minutes. Anyway, um, Catherine, if you do get that position, uh, keep if something else comes in or keep looking because it is going to be, um, it, there is something else coming that will be a much better fit for you. It's just going to be a much better fit for you. And uh no, it is a position working with health authorities. It's going to be okay. If you get the position, it's going to be okay. I don't feel like you're going to love, love it. It'll be okay, though, Catherine. I do feel like you, if you get it, you'll stick with it until something else comes along, which you should. And if they offer it to you, take it. and then But keep... If something else comes along, definitely take it and kind of keep looking because I feel like it seems like I just want to say, Catherine, that they might not be something about the position is going to be just a little bit off. Like I can't even get the, the position clearly, which mm, right there. Right. Yeah. So please, um, if they offer it to you, absolutely take it. Okay, 100%. If you start the job, start it. If, the, if you get a start date, start it. It's always easier to find a job while you have a job. Yep. And then um, 
if something else does come along, maybe you sent out a different application, they finally get back to you, or um, there's a different position, still look into it and see. I just feel like right on the right on the tail of this, you're going to get a better offer. But you you have to go through the process of this one. It's like you have to go through the bad guy to get the good guy sometimes <laughs> so that you really appreciate the good guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, Catherine, please be aware of that. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is like a really funny start to the show, and we're just going to take it as that. If you have called in and uh, you were cut off, please call in again. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. Yes, it is. You can ask a question, one question. Don't get on and say, I know it's one question, but I have three. Okay, schedule a private appointment. I'm happy. I'm so happy to answer all of your questions for you um, during a private session. But for the sake of the show, it's one question. And to respect everybody else waiting to ask a question, it's one question, or one connection to a loved one on the other side. So when I say your area code, please have that one question. Uno, una, a uh, question. That's, that's basically half of the Spanish I know. <laughs> Dos is the other half. <laughs> Um, and or the name and the relationship of a loved one on the other side that you would like to talk to. <laughs> okay. And um, if you're in the chat, please post your question in the chat. Thank you to everybody in the chat who's already liked the show, who shared it. Thank you so much. I love you guys. You're the best. If you want to know when we go live, hit that button that lets you know when we go live on whatever venue you are watching on. Okay, I am going to do, they're telling me to do names first, names of those on the other side or your name to let you know um, that they're with you. So the first name that is coming through is Nicholas or Nico Nicholas is the first name. Um, Alexa, Alexia, Alexia. Alexa, Alexia, Alexis. Um, the next name that is coming through is, again, this is, I think this came through on Monday show, Madrid. I, I don't know if that's a name or a place that somebody went through, but I'm just saying it. It could be a, a name like London and Paris are names. Madrid could be a name or a space if you went to Madrid with somebody or always dreamed about going to Madrid or met them in, it could be that too. You make it fit where it fits in your life. It's a, If it's coming through, it's not for me to say how it fits in your life. You're gonna know if it's for you and how it fits into your life. Um, O'Brien is coming through. And then um, a Sweet Pea. Or sweet pea, sweet pea, sweet pea, with or without the tea, however they said it to you. Margaret is coming through, and it could have been pronounced Marguerite. Um, that is also coming through. So either way it was pronounced, or if it's for if it's for two different people, that's okay. The next name that's coming through is Joshua. Okay, and this is coming through. This came through a couple weeks ago, and I didn't say it, but somebody's bringing it through again. And again, just like Madrid, this could be a place you met, a place you've wanted to go. Jerusalem, I don't feel like that's somebody's name, but I do feel like that may be a place where you've met, wanted to go, whatever that means to whomever it means. Uh, David, and then I'm hearing also the name um, Michaela. I'm hearing the name... I'm only doing two more names, Tommy, Thomas, and then the name Sharon and Cheryl. Okay, done with names, going into songs. This could be a song you know. This could be a song. The song could answer a question. It could be a song they loved or knew you know and love or hear all the time. Or it could be a song you listen to together. Whatever this song means for you, 
or whenever you hear this song, it's supposed to let you know that they're with you and butterflies, 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 butterflies. Butterflies are a um, symbol for someone that somebody is with them, whether it's a tattoo, a picture, an actual butterfly. Yeah, that's my butterfly flying, butterfly flying. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Um, but the songs, okay, we're going to go into songs now. The songs, the first song that I'm hearing is that Let Me Love You. Mm, 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 mm. The next song I'm hearing is, I, and I know I sang that so horribly, 99% of you will not be able to know what song that is exactly. And I apologize. Um, the next song is, um, uh, uh, you're the one that I want to give all my love to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The next song that I'm hearing is, um, if I told you that I love you, if I told you that I love, I'm singing it wrong, but if I told you that I loved you, um, the next song I'm hearing is, uh, it's not a song and, um, it's just the group Iron Maiden and, and then Ozzy Osbourne, those two things. Um, and then I hear that da na 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 thunder, da na 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 thunder. Um, somebody, somebody up in here is like heavy metal heaven. That's all I can say. Heavy metal heaven. Okay. Okay. So I think it was Michelle. Michelle. Uh, oh, David was my brother. He'll be gone 14 years on my birthday, the 18th. Well, happy birthday, Michelle. And uh, yeah, David. Um, I'm also seeing um, well, I'll get to that in a second, but I think it was M Michelle. Were you the one that um, said about on Monday's show with the It's So Far Up Now um, on Monday's show? So I'm, pr I'm pretty positive it was Michelle and she had asked a question on Monday's show and I said something about a, um, a tattoo or something and she did confirm the tattoo for us, letting us know that, yeah, that did come through. Um, hey, Patrick. Hey, Karmic Karen. Um, Heather's with us. Maris is with us. There are so many people in the chat, you guys. It's awesome. I'm going to try to take a caller now. And we're going to see what's about to happen here. 518, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there. My name is Sal. And I'm in New York. And forgive my voice. It's a little hoarse. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just happy that uh, the the call log is, uh, the switchboard is working. So how can I help you? And your name is Sal, like S-A-L? Mm, no, V-A-L. V-A-L. I'm so sorry. See, yeah, I'm so sorry. That's okay. How can I help you, love? And you mentioned. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you mentioned some heavy metal. Uh, that, that might be me. Um, <laughs> Love my love my rock and roll and metal. Oh my goodness! And that's on Thunder. They're still doing. They're doing it right now. Da na 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 na. You know what? Thunder. A yeah. ACDC. ACDC is one of my all time favorite bands. Okay, excellent. And then, um, so yes, I feel like somebody on the other side is definitely letting you know they're here with you, and I love that so much. So. How, what, did you want to connect with someone on the other side? Do you have a question, love? What's up? I, I actually, I have a question. Okay. Um, and thank you. Thank you to whoever's on the other side for letting me know you're here. Um, my question to you is on Monday, on Monday, I interviewed for a position and I thought the interview went really well. And do you need a lot or should I stop? Um, the interview did go well. I feel like mm -hmm. there are quite a few people in line for this. Um, did they call you back yet? What they did was, and I guess this is kind of a normal procedure, um, 
I was told I was going to go in and shadow, you know, I was asked, do you want to come in and shadow for a couple hours? And they said, sure, you know, why not? I went in and I shadowed for 45 minutes. Um, my appointment was at 8.30. I got there at 8, um, sent the lady, a, you know, a message to say, hey, I know I'm a little early. Uh, please take your time, but I just wanted to let you know I'm here at 8. They sent me into shadow with a girl that I was shadowing and it was about 45 minutes and then the manager who interviewed me took took me up to her office just to say okay you know um, any questions blah 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 um, I'm still interviewing um, I'll let you know by the end of this week or you know next week okay here's here's what I'm hearing uh, first and foremost, I tell everybody, I've been saying it on the chat since the chat started mm -hmm. almost. Even if you get the position, keep looking and keep there, keep looking and keep putting feelers out there and see what else comes back. Um, I feel like if you get this position, especially in the beginning, it's going to be extremely complicated. That doesn't mean don't take the position. I think it's just going to be complicated mm -hmm. and there's going to be some chaos involved. I do believe they are still interviewing. I think they're trying. And if I'm getting this correctly, um, they're trying to find the least, uh, the least expensive employee is what I'm getting right now. Someone they're looking and I can't, the way I'm going to say this sounds absolutely horrible for this company, but it is what it is. They're looking for somebody mm -hmm. who doesn't have a lot of self-esteem so that they can kind of make them, not make them, but this per, whoever gets hired will be very um, not um, a strong person and will just be like, okay, okay, okay. But, and also is not asking for, uh, um, the highest, somebody who doesn't know their own self-worth. That's what they want. It's, it's, they're just looking for somebody who, who is, is very either a desperate or B, um, just doesn't have a lot of, uh, self-confidence or worth and will, will be able to, they'll be able to just, you know, be able to kind of run them is what I'm getting. Now, having said that, if and when you get the position, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. go in, take the position. It is going to be um, very hectic or chaotic in the beginning. There's going to be a lot of, um, a little bit of confusion. Get through that, but and, and keep, I always say this, especially when you first start a position, keep looking because if something better comes along, it's okay to take the something better. And as long as you're still looking or just starting, it's okay to be in that place where you are, um, oi, you are, you, if something better comes along, you can take it. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't owe this company anything. They would do it to you in a heartbeat. So please keep looking. I feel like they're by mid November you will be actively employed as long as you keep looking and you keep going. Now, that doesn't mean this place isn't going to hire you. That just means that as of mid-November, whether it's this place or another place, you should be actively employed. Maybe not working yet, but employed by them. I do feel like there is a place and you're going to hear about the employment, about getting hired. Well, I, where are, aren't we already in mid-November? Yeah. Very close. We're very close. So maybe it is this place that is going to tell you by mid-November. And then I feel like within a month, I feel like with I feel like within a month there's going to be a second option on the table, okay? I want you to keep your options open also to what type of position 
that you are open to working at. Um, I feel like there are a lot of companies out there in many different industries that are willing to train people to come in and do um, different positions because they've lost so many people. And these are sometimes higher paying positions and higher stature jobs that you would think you need a college education for, but you don't. So just keep your eyes open. And I always say to people, look in the sales area of things and people will say, I hate sales. Well, okay, maybe, maybe you do. I'm not asking you to go and sell, you know, grandma's life insurance. No, nope, that's not what we're saying here. <laughs> Don't go sell grandma's life insurance. What we're saying is sometimes there are positions in sales that are not really sale sale positions, but good positions. Okay. And you'll be, you would be surprised at what they have listed there. Make sure it's legit. Um, and you might be surprised at how easy it is when you really love a product to help other people love it. That's the way I look at it. If you love a product, somebody's coming into that place, they obviously love that product too. It's a win-win. It's not really sells. It's just helping match a person with a product. That's it. So I would say be, right. be open to that because I feel like something like that is coming in for you. Um, and I Honestly, think... Honestly, uh, and I just say this real quick. Yeah. Uh, I've done sales in the past and I'm ex I could tell you anything. Yeah. It's just not what I want to do again. Okay. I get that. Not, not, no desire. I'm too old for sales now. Okay. I get that. I completely understand that. And I'm going to say checkmate with something else. So just hold on. Don't, don't be, don't throw it out yet because you might be looking at sales positions and see a sales manager job where you're personally not doing the sales, but you're managing a sales staff. And if you've done enough sales, you can do something like that. Now, if you are completely turned off to that, then don't stick with where you are, stick with what you're going for, but make sure you have a backup situation to this, not because you're not going to get hired for this, but because once you get in, you might realize, oh, this is very monotonous and I don't like this. I like it better when I can, you know, have different people to talk to or I like it better when I'm, you know, out and about um, doing doing other being out and about talking to, you know, my day flies by faster. I don't know what it is. This is what they're giving me for you. But you are a full grown mm -hmm. adult with control over your own destiny uh, to a certain extent and what you want to do. So you get to look it up or handle it the way you want. Okay, love. What, um, oh, thank you so much. You are so wel welcome. The one thing I'm going to say, and thank you so much for calling in, but don't hang up yet. The one thing I'm going to say is if I, if I went into sales, I used to do sales and I used to do a lot of health club sales, promotions, marketing, yada, yada, yada. Um, if I were doing sales, I would want to do sales where I could travel. <laughs> like I would be able to travel the U.S. or wherever to do these sales. And that would make it worth it to me. <laughs> I would be like, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm this week I'm going here and I'm going to be doing this. Or I would have to be very passionate about the product. Um, but. Having said that, I know people get burnt out on sales very, very quickly. Um, but it is, it is if you get with the right company. I have a client that does electrical sales, and they get a salary, and it's it's a it's such a good salary. They get such a good salary; it's crazy. Um, I would keep the job just for that. Okay. Having said that, I'm going to go to the first. Um, uh, first choo -choo, choo choo question I can find in the chat, not necessarily the first question, but the first question I can find in the chat. Um, I think I answered, oh, here, 
Karmic Karen, I just love that name. It, it makes me giggle every time. Um, anything regarding love or from Leo, my grandpa and spirit. Thank you. Okay, Karen, let's talk about love. <laughs> they, they almost started singing that salt and pepper song. Um, so the first thing I want to say is um, in September, October, something completely closed out for you. You may not even be aware. It might not be something that you were actively working on, but it completely closed out, which makes sense because we just went through those big eclipses in October and it did close out a lot of things for us. Even if we're not aware something was closed out, oh, a big metal door came down and shut that poop out for us. So what I'm getting is because of that, in three months after that, someone's coming in. So we go October. I know I have to do it with my fingers like I'm in kindergarten. October, November, December, January. January is a month when you have the potential, the best potential to meet not of your life. If you miss January, that doesn't mean it's not coming in. It just means there's a door opening up like a something opening in January, maybe something within you, because after this was closed out, you're just, your mind is reprogramming itself. Now in January, early January, but throughout January, you have this huge potential to meet someone. And this has the very strong potential to be a very long term loving and healing relationship do not go for your do not go for your typical type <laughs> um, and i heard this on a video and i'm gonna say it here and i love this statement our partner I have to say, it shouldn't feel like a firecracker. Our partner should feel like a fireplace, warm and cozy and calming, not exciting and butterflies. And <gasps> that's no, that's a solid no. Our partner, our true partner should feel like a fireplace, you know, cozy every night, just and that that one, I was like, oh, my gosh, that makes so much sense. So um, go for that. But in November, uh, not in November, I'm so sorry, in January, in January, you have this potential, this very strong poten pot potential for this partner to come in that is very loving and caring. Again, not your typical type, not not what you may have gone for, especially in your 20s and 30s, but somebody who is very good for you now and good for the long term. And I always say this, I say it all the time. If you're not growing in love and not like, oh, I'm more in love with you today than yesterday. But like if you're not growing in love stronger and growing and with love Every day you're growing apart and this is not your person. Find somebody that you can grow with on every level. And I do feel like that your very strong potential for that is actually going to be in January. Now they say early January, but it could go into February. If it goes into February, you didn't do anything wrong. Just it's a timing thing. Both people have to be in alignment and you have to be out and about. Again, you're partner is probably not the pizza delivery guy. There's nothing wrong with the pizza delivery guy. Okay, nothing. It's just probably not the guy you're going to partner up with. Okay. At least that's what I'm hearing now. If I'm wrong, Karen, tell me, tell me, say no, I want my pizza delivery guy. Okay. <laughs> In, uh, I'm not even going to go there. Um, so <laughs> So, Karen, that's what I have for you. 
um, in in love. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 231. 231, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, 231 is gone. And that could be the call log, everybody, um, because the, 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 the call place, the place with the log said we are aware of issue connecting and running in in running so they 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 are aware and they have their engineers working on it so please um well, we're going to be patient i'm going to go to the next caller who is 631 and if you would like to call in 845-277-9131 631 what's your name and where are you calling from Hello. Hello. Hey there. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Suzanne, Florida. Hey, Suzanne. How can I help you today? Um, I'm going on sort of a blind date. I mean, I know what he looks like, but on Saturday, what do you see with that? I, Just a breakfast. I feel like it's going to be good. I like the idea of a breakfast date or a brunch date. I really do like that. Um. I feel like it's going to go well. I feel like um, it, it feels somewhat positive and strong. I like it. The one thing I'm, I always say to everybody is, um, especially women, remember it's not only their choice, it's your choice also. Make sure that you're looking at this um, in a, is this person for me way, not only does this person want me? Um, so make sure that you're really being like asking those open-ended questions, but it feels very positive. It feels very strong. And sometimes positive and strong can mean the date goes well and there's a second, or it can mean that you've come to a point where you can look at someone and honestly say, you know what, this person really is a good person, but it's not my person. And I think that's the most empowered place any person can be is to go, you know, this person's a really good person, but they're just somebody else's person. Um, next. Thank you, next. Um, but I do feel like you're going to have great conversation. I do feel like it's going to go well. Um, I, but I also feel like, do, I feel like, I don't know if this person might be a little bit late. You might be a little bit late. One of you might be running a little bit late. And I'm hearing, let them take the lead. Let them take the lead. Whether that means with Q&A or with things going on, just let them take the lead. So I hope that's helpful. But I do feel like it will be a good uh, first first date. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I, the, the one other thing, and I want to know if this is accurate or not. I hear the word short. So this could mean a couple of different things. Either the date goes a little bit shorter, like the time frame of the date might be a little bit shorter. And I know sometimes uh, no matter where you are, they just want to turn those tables over as quickly as possible. So the date might go a little bit shorter than you thought, or this person <laughs> might be a little bit shorter than you thought. Either way, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> so give us a call back. And no, let he's, he's six foot. He's, he's real thin and he's six foot three. Okay, that'll be, then maybe the date goes a little bit shorter than you think it is because maybe at the table turnover. Now, if the date goes like a shorter period of time, don't suggest, and I'm not telling you what to do. This is just what I'm hearing. Don't say, oh, that, that was really quick. Do you want to A, B, or C? Or if, if, if he says, do you want to say, well, let's this, I just let it be that short period of time, like leave them wanting more sort of thing. And um, let it be, uh, uh, go be set up for a second time. Okay. So if it, if it is a shorter time, be accepting of that 
and then go, oh, no, that's perfect. We can, you know, we can finish this conversation or whatever um, the next time we see each other. Um, it's always better for it to go a little too short than a little too long. Okay. That sounds good. I hope that makes sense. Right, yeah. Sense to you, and it's extremely helpful. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing first date. And thank you so thank much. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. Um, dating to me is like, gosh, it's so, it's overwhelming. I think most women think of dating as very overwhelming. It, it can be, whew, sometimes. Okay, so I, I don't know where the next question is. I'm kind of looking for the next question, whichever question um, I see first, if I see a question, otherwise, um, Otherwise, I'm just going to go um, to the next caller. And if you do have a question, you can call in 845-277-9131. Or you can, if you're watching live on YouTube, please feel free to put that um, question in the YouTube chat. I'm going to go to 929. 929, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, 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 Tom. This is Kim. How are you? I'm good. And did, I'm sorry, did you say your name is Kim? No, it's Teresa. Teresa. Okay, thank you, Teresa. How can I help you today? Yes. <laughs> I did a psychic reading with you before. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Yes. I, <laughs> okay. I have a quick question for you because I, the last, I told you that I wanted to move. Um, I'm trying to figure out, is this the condo that's in West New York or the condo in New Jersey? Because I'm, I'm looking for it. I have to actually physically go into the area, like, to get the information, to, to get the name of the development. Do you, because I know it's, like, no more than, like, three floors, one or two, one or two floors, which is good for me. I don't want to be in a big building, you know. So I'm not sure it's the one in Edgewater facing the New York City or the one that's in West New York facing New York. Like, it's a view of the city. Okay, out of these two, West New York tests a little bit stronger, but keep looking because I feel like if you can hold out just a little longer, you're going to find a sweetheart of a deal, whatever that means for you, okay? So West right now as of right now if you're only choosing between these two and i feel like that's those aren't going to be the only two but i feel like that the the second the west new i feel like that's going to be the better one as of right now now in about a i hear a week and i hear a month so there might be two more options coming in or something's coming in in a week, and then in a month, you're going to make up your mind. Um, but I feel like there's something else coming in that's going to be an amazing, um, like, you're just going to get such a good deal on it for some reason. And it's going to be in an, uh, okay. a, a perfect location for you. But the price is going to be phenomenal. Is it like you can't beat the price, okay? And okay, I, I kind of like the West New York, New Jersey location. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like that is that one right now is is good, but I do feel like price. If if I don't know if if you want to go for the West New York one, that's okay. It's a good one, but if you hold out just a little longer. There's something coming on the market. And I feel like for whatever reason, these people just, they just want this gone for whatever reason. Um, and they're going to bottom. They're just, it's almost like, okay, I don't feel like it's this. But it's almost like when somebody inherits a property and either they just want the money as quickly as prop as quickly as possible or they don't 
really whatever. They just want to get it gone. Somebody just wants to to get this. They want to move it through or like a divorce where they need to like, uh -huh. like there's something, there's not anything wrong with the property. They just want to get it gone as quickly as possible. Okay, love? Okay, I'll take it. Sounds good to me. Excellent. Um, um, we'll chat. Mm -hmm. I, and I do okay. feel like that might be Thank coming you. in as quickly as a week, but give it up to a month just in case. Okay, love? Okay, sounds awesome. Okay. Thank you so much for All calling right. in, Thank love. You. And it's wonderful to talk with you again. Thank you so much. So, you guys, when, when I am doing the show and people call in and they have had readings with me and it, it takes me a moment to place them like, like Teresa, it took me a minute to place her from a, a private reading. I do a lot of private readings, but also I'm so in show mode, show mode. Like I'm just focusing in so hard to get that question. <laughs> that that like sometimes I feel like oh that that seems so rude like I should have acknowledged that but I'm just like so focused trying to be so hyper focused on whatever the um the question or the connection to the loved one is going to be so please um I I hope that that helps to have people understand that I don't know okay I'm gonna go to the next YouTube question <clears throat> uh, from Patricia Patricia wants to know do any of my ancestors okay Patricia I need you to give me a specific name of an ancestor and their relationship to you only because um, it just goes faster it's like me getting like directly into their energy. I have this one question. I ask this one person, whatever else comes through, comes through. So Patricia, please give me the name of one ancestor and the relationship that they, the relationship, your relationship with them. And I'll be happy to answer that. Thank you so much for, uh, for that. And I'm going to, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to go to 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Connie. This is Katie, and I'm currently in New York. Hey, Katie. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you feeling? Awesome. What's up, Buttercup? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I actually decided I was gotten moving to Atlanta, and um, I found this a brand new building. It's really beautiful, and. Um, What's going? I, I just thought it was more easier for me because my furniture is already there. They're, they're moving it. They're moving my furniture like to another state. It just was. I just thought it was easier. So I took the land and um. So apartment complex down there. The lady. They're supposed to be available November. They said I could move in next week, November seventeenth. And they, I guess, um, they were waiting to get approved from the city and stuff like that. I was just wondering about living there and will I be able to move in next week? Okay. The first thing I hear is there might be a, a just a bit of a delay. Um, and then I hear bureaucrats. Ugh. So, so whatever bureaucrats. that means. <laughs> but there might be a bit of a delay. So plan on, if you can, that would be amazing, but they might have some stipulations like, yeah, we're going to let you in, but you're really not supposed to be here yet or something like that. I feel like mm. for sure by, um, I want to say by December 1st, you'll be able to be in, but there might be a little bit of delay um, in, even if it's okay. just a day of 24 hours that you might get there and they're like, oh, we're, we don't have anybody to bring you the keys today or Whatever it is, there might be a bit of a delay. So make sure you're planning appropriately. And here's the other thing. And I know you want to go into something else, but I need to tell you this before you, you say anything else. Your trip there, plan that appropriately. Safety first. Make sure that you're planning out your route and you are um, planning for any like... Um, uh, like uh, if you have to go another way, 
um, whatever it is, whether that's with your stuff or your flight or whatever, make sure you're double checking mm -hmm. everything and don't go to gas stations at night. I don't know why that came in. It just did. Make sure you're doing everything you're needing to do when it's light outside. Mm -hmm. Once it hits like that, mm -hmm. you know, here it's like 6 p.m. It's dark now. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it hits that yeah, dark, dark time, mm -hmm. don't go to gas stations at night. And if you can get somebody who's willing to do the drive with you, have them do the drive with you, especially whatever. Um, but don't, I just hear very strongly, don't go to gas stations at night. Okay, love? Yeah, okay. that's probably re regarding down there because they have stuff happening at their gas stations. It's like the wild, wild yeah. west. I'm just saying, I'm hearing yeah, yeah, some yeah. areas could be like the wild, wild west. Okay? Yes. It goes down at the gas station down there. I and mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say <sighs> this to you because if you are traveling and you're driving, I'm gonna give you the same info I take for myself, and that I give any of my girlies and my guys that I talk to. This is across the board solid information. There are. Three things, just for safety, not because anything's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, if we right. are prepared, nothing happens. First and foremost, hornet spray. It sprays up to six feet, and it can get a whole crowd of people. So it's not like pepper spray where somebody has to be up on you before it even touches them. Mm -hmm. This is like, mm -hmm. this is pepper spray on, on steroids. So hornet spray or wasp wasp spray because you typically take wasp spray and you spray it up like it goes six feet i mean seriously so if anybody's mm -hmm. coming at you six feet um a car fire extinguisher can also be very helpful if anyone's coming at you it's legit to have a fire extinguisher in your car in case of emergency it's not considered a weapon as wasp Spray is not considered a weapon. And you can have either of those in your car and use them to protect yourself at gas stations or any place else that you would need to. And if you carry a big bag, like, you know, us girlies do, you can throw a can mm -hmm. of wasp spray. Mm -hmm. So if you're going in and out of the gas station or in and out of a restaurant mm -hmm. or a rest stop, you have that wasp spray in your bag, your, your purse, whatever you want to call it, ready to go just in case. And when we're traveling, we need to do that. When my sister and I traveled for her wedding, she kept a hammer in her um, door where water <laughs> bottles go. She just kept a hammer there. I was like, I like that. I have one there now too. It's better to be <laughs> safe than sorry. And um, yeah. so that it, it, these are things that are easy to grab, easy to use. And with the exception of the hammer, you can keep so if somebody's coming yeah. at you they don't need to be close for you to stop them so i'm going to say that for anybody listening who's traveling these are just safety things that we can do okay love who <laughs> yeah thank you so much i was just wondering so because i'm open to living somewhere else also i just want to move i want to i don't know if i can do a do a pushback date i don't think that's going to work for me Okay, the, the thing that I'm, I'm hearing two areas for you, and if you're not doing Atlanta, I'm hearing, I think you would like North Carolina, but that's not even the top. It might be Tennessee. Yeah. Um, but wherever you're going to end up, the weather is nicer, and you have to find okay. some place that where you're going to like the weather, but you can also uh, afford to live there. I'm feeling like, and yeah. I'm just going to say this to you, don't worry about what's hip and trendy, like as far as location, you can drive mm -hmm. into that area and then drive yourself back to your safe location. Right. That's all right. I'm saying right. for, for everybody. Go to where it's hot and then go home to where it's safe. So I feel like if you like really that. want, like <laughs> if you really want Atlanta do further outskirts of Atlanta, and that's going to be a much better fit, or you might find something 
a little bit more, maybe not as trendy, but a little bit more luxurious for the money. Even like sometimes when you go into those suburbs, you find a really nice place and then it's better for the money. So what I'm hearing is either go a little further out from your location that you're looking right now, mm -hmm. or if you're willing to go to, I now, so yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, love. Who? Yes, I, I understand what you're saying. Yep. Yep. Thank okay. you so much, Tony. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling in. I hope that was helpful. Okay, Patricia, thank you so much for answering um, in the chat. The ancestor's name is... Okay. Okay, I think it's Natalie or Nathalie. Nath I think it's supposed to be Natalie or my grandmother, Emma. I hear Emma right away, Emma, 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 but they're both here. Thank you so much for giving me that. I really appreciate that. And, you know, it's not that I cannot connect with loved ones if I don't have a name I can. But I feel like if I'm talking to my loved ones, I know exactly who I want to go to with what. And I know they're going to give me the answers I need for each individual thing. If I want fluff and stuff, I'm going to this person. If I want honest, accurate answers, I'm going to my mama every day of the week. And she's going to be just like when she was here. She's going to be point blank with me. She's not pulling nothing. She's just telling me like it is. So Emma is the first one I hear. And so your grandmother's going to start this, but they're both here and they'll both be saying they would both be saying the same thing. Patricia, the first thing that they want to tell you, it's time for you to move on. Right out of the gate. Let's not, let's not mince words. Let's just hit it right out of the gate. It's time for you to move on. Now, whatever this means for you in whatever area of your life, this can be emotionally, this can be um, with a job, with a person, with, with uh, sadness. It can be with whatever. I'm sorry. I, I'm not telling you what it's for. They know better than I do. Um, it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to, uh, again, get going to take that next step in life to start. Um, and they're going so far as to say, Patricia, it's time for you to start living in the way you want to live. And you might think right now that that's difficult or you can't do that or it sounds easier than it is. It's just they're saying, don't put it off. Like, don't put it off. Don't keep, don't keep putting whatever this is. Don't keep putting it off. Just take the step and just do it. You're going to be so much happier once you get through whatever this is. The next thing they want to say is they're going to be there. They love you. They're going to be supporting you through this whole thing. They want you to know that they have they like they have your back. And one of them is laughing and saying, and your front. And then they're saying that there's a whole group of people. Gosh, it just got so cold in here. Um, a whole group of people with them that are uh, your tribe that are uh, surrounding you and helping you and walking you through this. They can't force you. You have to, I hear that song. I think it's by Lenny Kravitz. Get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. I think those are the words. If not, those are the words they want to use for you. You have to be the one to get up and do this. Um, once you start you won't be able to stop. And that's the message that they have for you, Patricia. I hope that makes so much sense for you. And I hope you understand where they're coming from with that statement. I hope that makes sense for some area of your life. Hey, Mystic Raven, thanks for joining the show. Hey, Michael, how are you? Um, I'm going to go to uh, uh, 347. I think I did not take 347. What's your name and where are you calling from? All righty. I don't think I did. 571, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, Vicki. Comes from Washington, D.C. How are you? Hey, Vicki. I'm awesome. How can I help you today, love? Well, we spoke a while back, and I was telling you that my job was chaotic, et cetera, et cetera, and I was looking for a new job. Um, they may be doing some transfer, and I probably will be a part of that transfer. Would that be a good move yeah. for me? Vicki, I hear as soon as as, organization. I'm so sorry, love. Um, As soon as you said they may be doing some transfers, I heard take it, take it. If they offer you a transfer, run with it. You will be so happy you did. Um, I feel like it would be a very, very, very positive change. And if they're looking for volunteers to transfer, ask them what are they offering with the transfer and then run with it. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. I'll keep you posted. Thank you. Please do. And I want to say this, Vicki, if you do not get the transfer, kind of peruse their job listings and some other job listings, you might be surprised at what you find. We're getting ready to go into a new um, cycle. And with these uh, October eclipses, there's a lot of new opportunities out there for people. Excuse me, please excuse me. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, Be willing to expand like if this has been your title all the time for for you and everybody else if this has been your title or what you've done don't stick to strictly that look at all of your skills put them in a search engine and see all the titles that pop up for that type of job did everybody see that flash of light um put all the title all the skills everything you've done and put it in the search engine, see what titles of jobs or what positions pop up, and then also look at that. Also look in those areas to see what you might find because you might be pleasantly surprised with something that comes up in your search. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you are you. so welcome, love. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm I'm always so grateful when everybody calls in. I just love it so much. So one of the things I was supposed to say on Monday's show and I completely forgot, and then so I'm going to make sure I say it today is um if so there's this thing that spirit has been trying to tell people um, and it is to start your own thing, whether it be your own business, your own uh, independent thing, whatever it is, you don't have to quit your day job, but have something on the side. Or if you've been thinking of starting a business, now is the time. It's so important that if you've been thinking about um, starting some sort of business, foundry, factory, whatever, start it now. One of the messages that I have been getting is that um, in January, and I think I kind of had said this a couple of years ago, in January, things are going to start. 90 to seconds. <gasps> Things are going to start to turn around. And when they start to turn around in January, there's going to be a lot of financial. I didn't say this part before. A lot of financial opportunities for people who want to start um, foundries, factories, whatever it is in this country of the USA. The other thing that I am getting and um, for what it's worth even if it's not that, whatever it is, start small and build. I love you all so stinking much. I love you so, so much. Um, please. Um, Ten seconds. Uh, shh. Be safe. And uh, remember, it's your job to make miracles in this world. Thank you so much. And have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.